Since 1958, the Canadian Music Competition has been showcasing the very best in Canadian classical music. Divided up into age groups beginning with seven and under, students are selected from a provincial round of competition to compete in the national competition that this year is being held in Quebec City. On Sunday, April the 10th, at 2 p.m. at St. Andrew's United Church at 255 Oak Street, the Canadian Music Competition Manitoba Chapter will be holding a fundraising concert. The funds raised for this concert will be used to financially aid students who have been chosen to travel to the national finals. Joining me here over Zoom, I am joined by Erica Schultz, who is the president and organizer of the CMC Manitoba Chapter Competition, and three participants in this year's competition who will be performing on the concert on April the 10th, pianists Erica Fang, Austin Wang, and Angela Suet Ki Ng. Hi, everybody. Nice to have you here. Hello. Hi. Mm -hmm. uh, Erica Schultz, I want to start with you. Uh, can we first talk about the CMC competition and per perhaps you can explain the process of how it works and maybe talk us through the progression if somebody starts right from the beginning of the competition and as they make their way through to the finals? How does that work? Well, um, I'll just begin with a brief description of the competition for you and your listeners. Mm -hmm. um, the Canadian Music Competition is very different from regional competition. Um, our national office is in Montreal, where, as you stated before, the competition began in 1958. Um, our current director, the esteemed conductor, um, Mark David, and his team organized the overall running of the competition. Um, however, it is the uh, dedication of the 13 provincial presidents and their teams, all volunteers, that keep this competition thriving. We are responsible for promoting the competition, encouraging gifted students to enter it. We must fundraise uh, because each province has to pay a share of the costs to the national office. And as you said before, we try to raise money through recitals um, and all sorts of fundraising activities uh, so that we can provide scholarships for our competitors. We arrange the venue, get the pianos tuned and maintain order as the competition progresses. Right. We are there for the students when they leave happy and we're there for the students when they leave <laughs> very disappointed. Um, the provincial round usually begins in BC and works its way eastward um, over the course of about two months. For the provincial round, the competitors perform publicly for a panel of five judges. Three are local. Two travel across the country for a sense of uniformity amongst um, uh, you know, the, the, um, the marking system. Mm -hmm. And um, they're in, in Canada and throughout the province of Every year, we have approximately 650 applicants. Um, what makes us very different is that we're not based on a grade system. It is based on age category. So for example, we have um, piano and strings, and that category begins at the age of seven and under and continues on through to about 25. Mm -hmm. Woodwinds begin at 12 and continue to 25. And Velope and Lists who begin um, their careers much later, uh, start at 18 and continue to about 30. Um, the repertoire um, that the students prepare comes from first a chosen list by the uh, national board. And then um, the students pick a piece or pieces of their choice. And in that case, everybody tries to choose music that is extremely challenging and will be very impressive for the judging committee. Preparing for this competition requires a high level of commitment from the teacher and the parent and definitely from the students. Um, personally, I start uh, in the summer to introduce the repertoire to my students so they can become familiar with it. I'm sure most teachers do the same. Uh, most challenging of all, the students must prepare a movement of a concerto. Uh, if they are fortunate enough to compete at the national finals, it is the concerto repertoire that we choose from. Um, to be in that rarefied group, you must receive a minimum mark of 87. 
that might not sound so uh, difficult. It shouldn't be that hard to attain. However, the competition bar is set so high that sometimes it is very difficult to reach that, uh, that, that number. Um, it is important to note yet another very important distinction of this competition, and that is there is no winner. The win is in the magic number 87. Um, that, that gives you the opportunity to be able to go to the national finals to perform your concerto. And for most kids, that is the opportunity. Uh, every year, the Nationals is hosted in a different city. And this year, we will be in Quebec City. There are five internationally acclaimed judges on the panel. Uh, once again, the students compete with their own age group. And based on the average of their mark, there can be more than one winner. National scholarships are awarded to those receiving the highest marks. A gala concert is held at the end of the competition and features five winners playing their concertos with orchestra. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud to say that Angela is one of those uh, young people who had that wonderful opportunity. I think it was about four years ago. So um, that I think is a, I, I hope a description. Yeah, that, 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 about, that about wraps it up. Um, can you talk about some of the musicians who have uh, taken part in the CMC competition, some uh, well-known Canadian musicians who have taken part in it? Well, I have to say the list is very, very long um, <laughs> and, uh, and very impressive. And your listeners will know all of these names well. Uh, pianists such as Angela Hewitt, Mark andre Amelin, Andre Laplante, and Yanina Fielkowska. Um, but closer to home, our own concertmaster, Gwen Hobbit, her husband, pianist David Morose, who is Angela's teacher, uh, violinist James Ennis, and vocalist Tracy Dahl and Andriana Churchman. Oh, wow. Pretty, pre pretty prestigious list. Um, you And of course, it's much larger than that. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you've organized the Manitoba chapter of the CMC for the past 25 years now. Um, mm -hmm. How long has this fundraising concert been uh, taking place? And can you talk a little bit about how that money is going to be used? Well, actually, this is only the second time that I've organized a fundraiser. Oh, wow. Um, I felt that this year in particular, the participants needed an opportunity to perform publicly after over two years of not being able to do so. Um, I know that we will have a really supportive and encouraging audience in attendance for this. Um, money from this particular concert will be equally divided amongst all the students who are chosen to go to the national finals. Mm -hmm. that, is okay. the, that is the hope that we will have sufficient funds to make it just that much easier for all of them to attend. Because mm -hmm. there's not only the plane ticket that you have to worry about, it's also uh, the hotel staying in Quebec City as well, right? Well, and also a companies, because right. when yeah. you play a concerto in this, in this environment, you're playing with a second pianist. Mm, of course. So some students will travel with their teachers, in which case the students will also be helping their teacher with, with their travels. It's an expensive proposition. Yes, yes. Yeah, I don't course. know if it's as expensive as hockey, but it's an <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Um, as I've said, uh, you've been uh, organizing the Manitoba chapter for the past 25 years. You must be super passionate about it. Um, why do you feel that the Canadian music competition is so important? Well, you know, when I took it on, I had absolutely no experience in organizing anything. I was absolutely, um, I, I was beyond naive. Um, but nobody else was interested in taking it on. So I did it. And uh, I'm here all these years later, and I'm not quite sure how I've done it, because I've <laughs> essentially done it on my own from the beginning. I guess in every career, we set a goal for ourselves. Um, mine is to guide my piano and harp students uh, to meet their full potential as musicians and performers. Um, as teachers, I feel we must provide as many opportunities for our students to grow in their craft as, as, as is available to us. Um, for a serious committed student, this competition prepares them for the future, uh, possibly um, international competition. 
for those who are less serious, but love the opportunity to compete and to play. Uh, the CMC is a part of their music education. They listen to others from across the country if they're fortunate enough to go to the um, national finals. And, you know, they grow from the entire experience. Yeah. Um, I, I enjoy the whole experience. I love teaching. I love preparing my students for this opportunity. And, um, and I have to say that when we make the trip, we always have a really good time. We have a lot of fun. And um, as far as all the other competitors are concerned, um, I'm a cheering squad for everybody. I mean, and, and everybody cheers on everybody. Um, we come in here, each other play, and we root for each other, and we go out for dinners together, and we all have a really good time. So it, it becomes like a family. It's a CMC family. And, um, for sure. And uh, it's it's really um, it's it's really something I'm very proud of. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to turn it I'm going to turn it over to the young musicians uh, we have with us today, and I'm going to start with uh, Erica Feng. Uh, Erica, can you introduce yourself to our classic 107 audiences? Just talking about uh, how long you've been playing piano, what school you go to, who your piano teacher is, that kind of thing. Yeah. Hi, my name is Erica Feng, and I'm 10 years old, and I go to Linden Christian School. And I've been playing piano for six years and started when I was four years old. And my piano teacher is Erica Schultz. And also, I actually love to listen to Classic 107 um, when my dad drives me to school and picks me up from school in the car. <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> uh, what, is it, uh, what is it that you enjoy about playing the piano? Uh, and do you ever find it hard to practice, Erica? Um, what I enjoy about playing piano is how after I've learned a new piece, I'm able to then like play through the piece fluently. And I also enjoy how I can play and see how different composers have different styles of their music and how I can play all the different styles. And yes, sometimes I find it hard to practice, especially when there's like a really hard part in a piece and I just can't seem to make it sound nice. And also, another reason is when it's just like a few days before CMC, I sometimes get a little stressed and I can't focus very properly. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the best thing uh, that you've experienced about taking part in the uh, Canadian music competition? So far, the best thing about taking part in the competition is at nationals when we travel to different places. After the competition, we get to all go and explore the city and our teacher buys us ice cream. And then <laughs> even though because of the pandemic for the last two years, I, we haven't been able to compete. Um, it's still been really fun going and competing virtually. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Okay, we're gonna hear you play something. Uh, can you set it up and uh, tell us what we're gonna hear? Uh, you're going to be hearing Symphonia Number no. Ten, BWV Seven Nine Six by J.S. Bach. Okay, let's hear it. God, that was just great. What a fantastic job. So young playing that amazing music of Bach. Thanks. For, thank you so much for that. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to Austin. Uh, Austin, again, can you introduce yourself to our Classic 107 audiences? Tell us about what school you go to, how long you've been playing the piano, that kind of thing. Hi, uh, yeah. So, hi, my name is Austin Yue Wong. I am 11 years old. I'm in sixth grade and I go to St. Emil School. And I've start, I've been started to play the piano when I was four and a half years old. And my piano teacher is Erica Schultz. 
Ah, okay. Another Erica Schultz student. Um, aside from playing the piano, what else do you do for fun? So I love sports. I play hockey and I was on a U13 A1 hockey team during this past hockey season. Um, I love shooting the speed it's at and working together with my friends as a team. I'm also a part of a volleyball and basketball team at my school. And I play a little bit of video games when I have time. Ah, it's amazing. Amazing. Uh, do you have a favorite composer uh, when you're playing, playing the piano? Do you have a favorite composer that you enjoy performing? Uh, yeah. So my favorite composer is Mozart. And I'm actually working on one of his concertos right now, which is concerto number 23 in A major, K488. I love the energy and flow to this concerto. And if I pass the provincials, I'll be playing this concerto in, the, uh, in this year's national field. Oh, fantastic. Uh, we're going to hear you play something. Uh, can you set it up and uh, tell us what we're going to hear? Uh, yeah, so the piece that I selected to send to you is Sonatina Opus 88, number one, third movement by Kula. And this piece, this recording is actually the recording that I sent to this year's Winnipeg Music Festival. Mm. And I'm very happy to say that I won this class. And I hope you enjoy it. Austin, that was just amazing. It's such great playing of Kulau. Thanks for that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And lastly, we have Angela. Angela, I'm going to get you to introduce yourself to our Classic 107 audiences. Hi, my name is Angela Ung, and I've been playing piano since I was eight years old. I also go to St. John's Ravens Court School, and I'm in grade 12. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been playing, playing the piano, and uh, who's your piano teacher? Oh, I've been playing since I was eight years old, and my current teacher is Dr. David Morales. I've been studying with him since grade eight. Mm -hmm. And am I right? Uh, you're in grade 12 right now. Is that, is that correct? That's correct. So what is, what's the end game? Are you planning on pursuing uh, music after you uh, graduate high school? Yes, I am. I plan to pursue a degree in piano performance. Mm -hmm. uh, what, schools have you, what schools have you applied to? I've applied to the University of Manitoba, Carleton, U of T, UBC, and McGill. And I've heard back from U of M, U of T, and Carlton. They all offered me nice scholarships. I'm still waiting mm. back for UBC and McGill. Amazing. Uh, what, for you, what has been the best thing about uh, performing uh, in the CMC competition? I know, uh, as Erica Schultz was saying earlier, you performed uh, your concerto. Uh, what, what is, what's been the best thing for you? The best thing for me has to be by far the experience of playing um, with my accompanist and then seeing other people play as well. Because by doing that, I can learn from them. I can also make new friends. I really like being backstage 
having all that excitement and meeting new people. Yeah, that's one of the great things about traveling and competing. Absolutely. Uh, and I'm going to get you to set up something. We're going to hear a piece of music. Uh, what is it that we're going to hear? I chose to present today Beethoven Sonata, Opus 2, Number 2 in A Major, First Movement. Okay, let's hear it.
Uh, Angela, that was just fantastic. Some great playing there. Thanks so much for that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, everybody, this has just been a real treat uh, to hear you all today. Uh, Erica Schultz, uh, where can people go to find out more details about the Canadian Music Competition and Manitoba Chapter Fundraising Concert? And, and where can they get tickets? Well, I would suggest that if anyone is interested in competing in the future, that they visit our CMC website and look at the specific requirements for their age group and instrument. As you can imagine, there are many um, fine points far too many to mention today. Um, and uh, if they want to attend the concert, um, they can purchase tickets. At the we really appreciate you having given us this opportunity to, to talk about the competition and to talk about the fundraiser. And we hope that um, you know, we will have a very large and supportive audience on, on April the 10th. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be just a great concert. Everybody, thanks again. Uh, this has just been a real treat for me. The Canadian Music Competition Manitoba Chapter Fundraising Concert takes place this Sunday, 2 p.m. at St. Andrew's United Church at 255 Oak Street. For more details, you can go to classic107.com and click on the events tab.